ओके नाउ लेट्स लुक एट एक्सप्लेनेशन वीडियो नंबर थ्री आई होप यहां तक का समझ में आ गया अच्छी तरह से ओके सो आफ्टर दिस आई विल वर्क ऑन क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर एक्सेट्रा सो ऑल दैट विल बी टेकन केयर ऑफ सो कैसियस हैज बीन इन कॉन्वर्जेशन विथ कैसका लॉट ऑफ सीज आउट सीजर कैसियस सिन्ना कैसका ओके वेयर हैज द यू सो सो ही सेज वेयर आर यू गोइंग इन सच ए हरी सिन्हा सेज टू फाइंड यू मैं तुमको ही ढूंढने आ रहा था आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर यू ओनली हु इज दैट मिथिलस सिम्बर सो मिथिलस सिम्बर इज द नेम ऑफ वन ऑफ द कॉन्स्परेटर्स इन द जूलियस सीजर assassination plot and he was accused of distracting caesar before the assassination okay so you can see that there are all kinds of people who are all out to kill julius caesar and he seems to have only one friend which is mark antony so he says no it is casca one incorporate to our attempts am i not state for sinna so he says no he is part of our plans incorporate means i have incorporated him in our plans he is part of our assassination or not assassination or at least our conspiracy are the others waiting for me am i not state for are they not waiting for me sina he says sina says oh i am uh, glad for it that they are kind of you know he is part of it what a fearful night is this so he is also echoing what casca was saying there is two or three of us have seen strange sights there are two three of us who have seen rather strange things so he does not reply to uh, cassius asking whether they are stayed on me that is they are waiting for me cassius says am i not state for so he repeats the question Sina says, "Yes, you are, O oh Cassius. If you would, but win the noble Brutus to our party." So he says, "Yes, but only if you could win over Brutus also to be part of our gang. That's important because Brutus has a very good reputation in Rome, which is why Cassius wants. Because Caesar, we have already seen, he feels suspicious about Cassius, but he did not say anything adverse about Brutus. So Brutus has a good reputation. So it's very important for these guys to get Brutus into their group. Okay." So Cassius says, "Be you content, good Sinan. Take this paper and look. You lay it in the praetor's chair." So now he says that do not worry. Be content means uh, be you content means do not worry. It will be taken care of. Take this paper, take this paper and place it on the magistrate's chair where Brutus sits, so that he will find out. Now, what is he talking about? Praetor is the title of a magistrate in Rome. Praetor. is the name of a magistrate magistrate means like a judge in rome and that was an office which was held by brutus so brutus was like a legal kind of a person so what he says is that throw this one that is throw this paper okay uh, through the window through the window and attach it with wax so that it sticks uh, to the statue of old brutus that is brutus's ancestor okay to so brut old brutus statue all this done repair uh, to pompey's porch after all this done you come to the front area of the pompey's theater where you shall find all of us is decius brutus and trebonius there now decius brutus is separate from brutus they are two different kind of characters okay so once is there uh, you come there so he says everyone except mitilus simber and he has actually gone to look for you at your house well i will hurry hi means hurry okay i will hurry and so bestow these papers as you bade me and i will do this to about the paper as you have ordered me or as you have told me yes is that done repair to pompey theater once you have done repair means hurry to um, come back or hurry to pompey theater so then he says come casca so sina has gone so is once again talking to casca casca you come out you and i uh, yet before day will see brutus at his house what you and i will do is that we will see brutus tomorrow morning before sunrise before daybreak okay before day three parts of him is ours already that is three fourth of him he is like 75% <coughs> on our side convinced he is part of ours and the man enter entire upon the new encounter yields him ours okay and we will win him entirely the remaining 25% at our at that meeting that we will do at his house before daybreak casca says Oh, he sits high in all the people's hearts, and that which uh, would appear offence in us, his countenance, like richest alchemy, will change to virtue and to worthiness. So he says, all the people love him. Love who? Brutus, not Decius Brutus. Brutus. Okay. Uh, so he sits high in people's hearts. You know, there is a lot of affection and love for Brutus in people's hearts. Things that would appear bad. Things. Offence means things. 
things that would appear bad okay in us his countenance his countenance means his facial expression like richest alchemy so what he is saying is that his face like the richest alchemist that is who transforms base metals into gold that is you know he is someone who can convert something which is not very good also into gold okay like an alchemist uh, will make our actions look virtuous and worthy so if he is on our side and if we are doing something which is not very good so he is kind of admitting that what we are doing is not something very good it is something which is base base means something not very good but because brutus will be on our side and he sits high in all the people's hearts he will change it to something which is good it will be deemed it will be considered to be good and worthy because of brutus presence in our team okay so cassius says you are completely right him and his worth and a great need of him you have right well conceded that you have completely you know you have kind of expressed his worth his importance his significance that he should be part of our team you have expressed it very well let us go for it is after midnight and before day we will awake him and be sure of him so let us go because now it's beyond midnight and before daybreak we need to uh, be with him we must wake him up and make sure he is with us that he is on our side so with this act 1 comes to an end they exit both casca and uh, cassius now the important point i hope you have understood in this entire act 1 scene 3 is that cassius is the master of manipulation please use this phrase in your answers okay he what he does in act 1 scene 3 is that he kind of presents julius caesar as some kind of a tyrant you know talking about how he treats romans like sheep right uh, <clears throat> he is no lion but he looks at romans as deer right so he says that and he moves forward with his plans and he's you realize that what we are seeing his conversation with brutus and with casca but through that we come to know that he is doing a lot of planning otherwise which is not presented on stage he has kind of involved a whole lot of people in this entire conspiracy and they know that their plans are not honorable which is why they want the presence of brutus on their side and they know that winning him over is going to be extremely vital to the success of their plot okay so with this we come to the end of act 1 scene 3 uh, this is kind of setting up what is going to happen uh, in the middle part of the play uh, you have been introduced to most of the prominent characters at least most of the prominent male characters there are people like portia and calpurnia which we, who will meet more in uh, the later the middle portion of the play but we have met julius caesar we have met antony we have met cassius who is really dominated act 1 to a large extent isn't that so he has dominated act 1 he is there in scene 2 he is there in scene 3 and in that sense he, you come to know about what is going to happen in rome pretty soon on the 15th of march thank you very much tata bye bye see you soon god bless you